We sit down with an incredibly dynamic young lady, Sina Pabetsi, who is a producer on High FM and has built a career and network that most producers would envy. She speaks about building the career, being involved in the community that got her to choose this role and how working in the hospitality industry gave her the skills she needed to communicate with very high level individuals. We also speak about her dream about becoming a pilot at a commercial level. This is one you're not going to want to miss and one that if you are looking for something to share with and inspire your daughters, the show is for you. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations with Champions, the Leadership Edition. The camera, the camera is two is, pounds. Yeah, very okay. Well, it must have added about 20 pounds to the size <laughs> of my head. So there we go. We're recording. We're live. All right, fantastic. There we go. We've got our monitoring software mm-hmm. and uh, we've got our road mics. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Sina, it's very yes. cool to have you on and Thank testing you. this Thank you. for the first time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nick. It's amazing to be here. Boom. Yeah. Thank you for coming yeah. through. So, yeah, yeah. Sina Pabetsi. Sen- yes. S- um, Senna. Yes. Senna but or Sina? Senna. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Well, wow. it's not, a, it's actually, it's actually both because yes. my grand's name is actually Sina. So, uh, because I'm the first granddaughter, I'm named after my grand. Okay. So that's, and then Pebet is actually not my surname. It's actually my other name. But okay. it's, um, in Zulu, they'll say it's Tagazelo. In Tagazelo. English, it's Tagazelo. But mm-hmm. then in English, I don't know what you call it because, you know, I don't think there's a, there's a name for it because it's not a surname, but it's, yeah, it's like a poem, poem thing. You type, type okay. of thing here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So it would be Sina Pebet, uh, Sena Pebet, Sina Molepo. Molepo. Molepo, yes. Okay, all right, cool, awesome. Yeah. But, on the runner. That it's Senna Pibetti. It's Pibetti. It's Senna Pibetti. All right, cool. See, that's why Umlungu is really easy, huh? <laughs> True. So, we're going to change it to Sina Umsholo. Okay. Why? Because you're amazing. <laughs> okay. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank absolutely. You. Thank you. So, oh, by the way, I can also record the audio here. Okay. And we should do that for a separate audio track. Okay. Check it. So, now I don't... As long as it doesn't change. Okay, we're recording now. Mm-hmm. So this will give me a separate audio file on the laptop mm-hmm. that I can upload. But with the soft, we upload to YouTube and Spotify. Mm-hmm. And Spotify also uses videos. Okay. So guys, sorry I'm so blown out here. I do need a little bit of sun. Um, okay. this, this is the color difference. Okay. <laughs> this is Umlungo. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. yeah. Sina, you are coming on to Coffee and Conversations with Champions okay. to chat about your career and who you are a little bit. So, mm-hmm. can you give us a rundown? Who is Sina or Sena, the producer? Okay, so mm-hmm. Sena, the producer, is basically. Um, so I'm from. I'm originally from Limpopo. Mm-hmm. Um, I've lived in. I lived in Fairmount for like in the Jewish community for like. Actually, all my life because I started mm. primary and okay. at Summerwood, went to Waverly Girls, and then after Waverly Girls, Waverly then I went to Waverly Girls. <laughs> so I wanted yeah. to be a pilot after that. Yes. That was the initial thing, and then that didn't work out because finance, it's like 2,000 rand supply. So it's like crazy. It's nuts. It's yeah. exactly. I think so, what's it about seven, 800,000 rand in total to you, get your commercial, to get or your, your, com- P, your, your PPL. Your PPL, yes. Yeah, not uh, even your commercial. Not even your commercial. No, and mm-hmm. on top of that, you still have to do your night ratings and yeah. all of that. So that didn't really work out because, yes. y- yeah. Well, yes, I guess it's still paused for now. Um, and then after that, um, I just worked. So I've never really like not worked mm. so i've always worked and schooled at the same okay. time so and then um so i'm only graduating this year in my ba in communication sciences and psychology ah. and then uh, uh, psychology yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah so that's basically what's happening and then mm. um i've worked at uh at high for like Four and a half years, five years now. Okay, cool. As yeah, as so a Chai FM, that's the Jewish community yeah, radio yeah, station. That's correct. Whereas we're instructed to say one hundred one point nine Chai FM. FM. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> so yeah, so I've worked. Up, so I started off as a as a producer for the Chai Kids and the Overdrive, mm. and then I think that's where we met. That's where we yeah. met. Yes, okay. but yeah. So but now. Uh, when you met me now, I was mm. the program's manager. 
Okay. So that's where I am at the current moment. Okay. So I make sure that's why I was able to get like content producers, presenters. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm in charge. I'm in charge of the presenters and the producers. Okay. And sometimes also I do the shows mm -hmm. um, just to fill in. And you were a huge help, which yeah. was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. I try. I really yeah. do try to make sure that everybody, you know, understands what they're meant to do and the show goes as smoothly as possible. Okay, uh, not only for the benefit of us, for our benefit, but for the benefit of the listener as well. Mm. You know, you want to create a, a great product for the listener, you know, and make it worth listening to. Make them feel involved, engaged, exactly. that they're part of the, exactly. the whole thing. The whole thing, yeah. I mean, yeah. And it was an incredible benefit for me, mm -hmm. where sort of training me up and helping me because uh -huh. you know, when I came in, where, like when I was doing the back announcing for the songs, yeah, yeah, my yeah, show, yeah. like terrifying, <laughs> and then my first show, terrifying. So we sort yeah. of eased into it, but thank you. But I mean, I feel like, so here's the thing, when I was mm. in December, when I was like, because it was something whereby I had to look for a presenter and normally mm. I'm just like, oh my gosh, where am I going to get a presenter from? So I'm like... What about that fat guy with the gym? <laughs> Not even. I didn't even... I was like, so no. I was, I'm going through my Facebook and I'm like, I see your posts and I'm mm. like, okay, great speaker. Mm. Okay. I can work with, I can work with this. And then, face and then, then I went on, yeah. <laughs> then I went yeah. on to your actual Facebook page and then I can see that you're doing a couple of... Um, podcasts mm. and then you're talking to different people I'm like okay fine interviews really really amazing good mm. I can work with this let's see what more and then I kept on going through yeah. videos and I'm like you know what let me give you a call let me give you a call and then hear what you say because you never know and no. I just thought you were going to go out or you were going away because everybody's going away in December so I'm like you know what let me try you let's see ahead you know let's mm -hmm. see if you're interested and you really worked out really amazing because I honestly cannot say or tell if you were nervous because it was like, okay, maybe, you know, back announcing, you know, mm. I don't think, here's the thing, I don't think you can ever really do anything wrong as long as you're not like insulting the listener or, you know, swearing on really, air. Really? Did you see the titles of some of those songs Craig gave? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, they, were, they were very, I mean, 18 like, letters in the name alone. Yeah, and yeah, then you have all the consonants and the, yeah. And the, yeah. yeah. So I think, you know, it, you can't really go wrong. And you just kept on like improving and improving and improving. I'm like, amazing. Thank you. Was, I love it was, this. It was yeah. a lot of fun. It was, yeah. And the, that, the reason I wanted to get you on the show is not yeah. just to tell people how brilliant. I <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. By the way, how much more relaxed is this than radio? Um, like, there's no runner. There's no ads. There's no, there's no ads. I don't know. I prefer structure. Yeah, okay. I, always, I'm, I'm, I think it's... I'm so programmed in my yeah. head to structure. I structure my actual life. I structure my professional life. Okay. So this is, is, it is more relaxed because mm. it's not like after five minutes, song, after two minutes, interview. Why are you running, why are you running yeah. late for an interview? Why are you not calling this person? You know, it's, it's much more relaxed. Who, who did I cut off when I said, right, thank you. That's all the time. <laughs> I didn't even say thank you. I said, thank you, bye. Thank you, bye. And like, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> my heart dropped in my stomach. I'm like, oh my goodness. You need to, I think it, it was, was a great conversation. It, it was a well. great conversation. Yeah. I'm like, we could have really carried it through, but obviously, I can't blame you because you don't know. You also didn't know that you could have Do actually it carried after after the news. After the news. Yeah, but it sure. was like, okay, fine. I need to go apologize. And then there was the Louis situation as well. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, Mr. Corpus, we apologize. We left the mics on in the studio yeah. and we were having a full conversation. Like, like Louis, like, I'm trying to read the sports here, guys. So, yeah, sorry, Mr. Yeah. Corpus. So, then there was that. But mm -hmm. I think everything just really it's just fun, worked yeah. out. It really worked out. So, that's what I'm saying. It is much more relaxed because there's mm. no like ads. And you have to play at, at, at a specific time because yeah. obviously you did promise. That's how you pay the, the bills. Exactly. That's how you pay the bills. So, okay, yeah. so a little bit more chilled, yeah. So, so give us a rundown on your role because the sort of I had the idea. I mean, I thought it would be great to have you on the on the show. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. But the when you had your sort of apprentices there. Okay. Uh, your trainees or. <laughs> so. I, I'm old. I like the term apprentice or. Appy. Yeah. So. See, check it. I even have an air horn. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on. Oh, wait. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm pressing the wrong. I, I needed to enable the mouse. And I've lost my mouse. But okay, you let's just carry on. Okay. So yeah. um, so my role is to basically at the current moment, mm. aside from just producing, um, so I was training the producers. Yes. I was training so I'm training the presenters, but I didn't really have to do much with the presenter because the presenter mm -hmm. was 
Great. So with, with terms of the producers, the, the challenge becomes that obviously I feel that it's easy, but I, sometimes I have to take, take myself back to when I started yeah. producing, um, that I already have um, some sort of relationship with some of these people that I'm actually going to ask them to actually do interviews with. Right. So what basically starts off, you have to obviously go onto the different news sites, look at um, what's currently happening, who's reporting what, what's being reported and all of that. And then but because uh, currently we've been reporting on the war and everything, yes. so the main focus is what's happening in Israel and mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. So then I would look at, okay, fine, um, what angle can we look at this from? And what, and also... As a producer, you have to put yourself in the position of the presenter. What mm. questions would you ask this person? Because it's not just about picking some random topic. What are you going to say? What yes. conversation? And that's what I, I push my, 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 my producers to actually do. What are you going to ask? If you were the pre presenter, yeah. give me five questions you'd ask this person. And I have this thing because for some weird reason, over the years... Um, I have a conversation with myself. So I can literally be like, okay, fine. I'm going to say hi to Nick. Nick is going to say hi. I'm going to say, how was your day? He's going to say, and then I literally play it out of my head. And then, so that has kind of helped over the years, but not everyone can, I think that's a bit psycho, but not everyone no, can, no, do, no, no, not everybody can do that. So, yep. so I, I encourage um, the, my producers to actually say, okay, fine, put yourself in the, produce, in the presenter's shoes. What questions would you ask this person when you're choosing that specific topic? That's one. Once you've chosen that topic, now you have mm. to call the person. And in most cases, I would obviously have to help them with the contact details because where on earth are they going to source them from? Yeah, yeah. Where on earth are they going to get... Like mean, a, over time, you've built up a fantastic network. Yes, right. that's, that's the thing. So sometimes, I have like over like 5,000 contact details. I don't even know half of these people, but I know if I'm like looking for the yeah. IDF, I will press IDF and it will come up. I know yes. exactly who the contact person is. If I'm looking for... But you also have a kosher caterer on. Ex exactly. Yeah, I'm like, I have yeah. everyone from like mm -hmm. an Italian uh, Jewish restaurant somewhere in the world to like <laughs> <laughs> anywhere like literally so sometimes, sometimes like sometimes i look at my my, my whatsapp and i see people view my status and i'm like who's this i have no idea who's this but that's because over the years but i do have some sort of con they do know me i do mm -hmm. know them mm -hmm. and i can always say hi i'm able to do an interview with sure. us and right. they'll be like yes so and also it's I, was, I think it's also communication and i think that's what um a lot of which is which became a big challenge uh, with most of the um, the producers. Mm. So I can I believe that if I call you three times, almost sometimes four times. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, sometimes even nine. I yeah, remember yeah. I once called Deco like twenty times, and then they they banned my call. I think they blocked me. Really? So, yeah, they did. That's so cool. <laughs> but it's not because now I can't get a hold of that specific person. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so yeah, so I called them and then yeah, it didn't work out. But I feel like if I call you a couple of times, I kind of annoy you and then you'll eventually answer. That's just the trick. But mm. you know, you can't call a person once or twice and say, oh no, they're not answering. What does yeah. that mean? Are you saying that there will be no show? No, you cannot not have a show. I've always said, I think... Excuse me, it's been a long week. <laughs> no, yeah, that's it's fine. Not you you yeah. can't not mm. not have a show. Yes. So, which means that I'm going to have to call, you're going to have to call that person. And if, if either the, the worst answer you can get is, no, I'm not available. Yeah. And so how I've built my context is, is there anyone that you can refer me to? Is yeah. there anyone with the same experience and knowledge as you that you can refer me to? And mo in most cases, the very... Happy to say, yeah, sure. Talk to this person mm -hmm. and hear what they say. Awesome. And then, Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So give us a rundown on what does a producer do and then up to obviously what does the program manager do? Because okay. you were talking to the youth. Yeah. And sort of our idea is there's podcasts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like 11 yeah. car crashes. <laughs> my favorite thing, by the way, is reading yeah. the traffic. Oh, I love the traffic. The traffic, yeah. So much fun. Yeah. So, there's a lot of people are putting out podcasts and mm -hmm. podcasts have ramped up. Yes. So people outsource to social media experts mm -hmm. to run their posting and that. But I think for me, I know a mm -hmm. producer for our podcast would be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Sourcing guests, managing the time. Mm -hmm. It's stuff that I can do, but if it takes three hours of the week to do, mm -hmm. it, I can do more with that time and True. you would be doing a better job. True. So I think production, producing of the podcast not from a technical aspect mm -hmm. there's another you know component to that because editing putting it together managing the audio sure. levels 
that's huge. Mm -hmm. But from a production point of view, a producer point of view, mm -hmm. finding guests, booking, managing, because also then that tenacity, right? Yes. You know, maybe we show you want to, I want to get Jeff Bezos mm -hmm. on the, or Elon Musk mm -hmm. or Joe Bloggs. It can, you know, you can get it done and you're also doing it when we're not doing it. Yes. So that's, I think, production producer for podcast mm -hmm. is a potential area that people can earn a living true. and build a nice true. life around. True, true, true. What is it? In, what is a producer? What is the, do you do basically? I mean, we've touched on it. Mm -hmm. And then how does one go about getting into the field? So I think it's more of being a freelance uh, content yes. producer. Yeah, um, absolutely. So in terms of that, so in terms of how long it takes, I think once you've gotten into the gist of things, it mm, takes, sorry. I think it's like way less time. So it would take me, let's say for instance, if I'm producing for the overdrive, mm. which is how many guests? Four guests. Yes. Um, I can, no, more. Three and uh, two. No, no, it's four, excluding okay. Rolene and... Oh, 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 and okay. Yeah, because right. I already know that Rolene is there. Yeah. So that's but, so, but it is then. So yeah. technically it's, it's six. Yeah, technically it's six. Because you've got Louis and... Yes. Your, the, so, Rolene. yes. So yeah. that for me... So it took, yeah. Hi, Rolene. <laughs> Hi. And <Yeah>. Louis. <laughs> and, and Mr. Carpus. So, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so it would take... It would be like, I don't know, an hour or two. Mm. Um, uh, depending on, and it also sometimes it also varies. Sometimes it can it can take me longer because sometimes you can call one person and they're like, I'm not available, and you call the next person yeah. and they're like, I'm not available. Mm. So you can have like five people saying they're not available, and that's when it's really like it's just bad for you on that day. That's when you walk into the studio and you're in the reception. Now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, hold on, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And okay. then, but it also sometimes if the person is like like a, a huge public figure. Yes. Um, sometimes you have to like go through the PA, yes. the PA, go to the other person, look from the next person. So you keep on going to the next person, next person. And the sometimes gatekeepers. The gate, PA is the biggest gate, gatekeepers. Mm. Oh my goodness. They are, yeah. And sometimes, you know, I know sometimes then they would be like, you know, um, um, don't go through him for it. Sometimes, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's so much better to just go through the person. And sometimes you do find that I have the actual contact details for this specific person, but because I have to go through the PA yes. who's going to literally be my biggest gatekeeper, I just go to this person and then they think I'm rude. I'm not mm -hmm. trying to be rude. You just get keep me all the time. Yeah, yeah you, got, so, you got that time limitation. Exactly. So I, I, and I don't have the time to be negotiating and saying, please, please. So mm -hmm. I go straight to the person and then the person agrees and then we're done. Yes. You know, so it really just depends on, on different days of how, depending on how long it takes, it depends mm. on the day. Right. And also the, the kind of, if the person is a public figure, but if the person is a professor, for instance, mm. sometimes they have a class at that specific time. So I'd have to adjust to say, okay, fine, could you do it at this time? So it's like, a, it's a matter of negotiating time literally all the time, okay. you know. Um, but, but I mean, and that's pretty specific to radio. Though. So if you're doing podcast production, yes. you could be booking a guest three months from now. That's true, but yeah, yeah it's a bit, sometimes then they forget. The yes. Then they forget. Sometimes, for instance, I have this. I have um, this one show, right? Uh, whereby I would have to like book guests, like every it's like every single Monday. Mm. So which means that okay. um, I could book them like three months or six months in advance, but then they forget. So you have to keep reminding them and right. sending them, you know, messages to say on this day or this day we have an interview. So. If it's like a, I, I don't know, I, give, I would give myself like a week if it's like a huge public mm -hmm. figure. And then, I don't know, I remember Benji once said, <laughs> Benji once said, uh, Sen is like a, it's like a, a pit bull. She doesn't let go. Yes. And I don't let go because I'm trying to get. It's you know, about the show. It, it's about the show. One, it's mm -hmm. also about, for as long as you haven't said no and I haven't reached the person, mm -hmm. I still have the potential to get to that person. And even if they've said no, they haven't said no forever. Forever, exactly. I remember there was this, um, so we were doing uh, the million, youngest millionaires in South Africa. Okay. So we were able to get, I think. Is, um, is this in Zimbabwe dollars? No. <laughs> It's South African rap. It's South African rap. <laughs> <It's laughs> yeah. So we were interviewing, I think one of them was Sandile, the other one was. So we just had to get like all different, all of them. Mm. So I did manage to get some. And then there was this one who kept on saying, um, 
I'm only going to be available in the next three months. And I contacted him, I contacted him <laughs> for the next three yes. months. And eventually when that three months came, yeah. I, I don't think he was really keen on doing the interview. Yes. But and he couldn't answer, say no. And he couldn't say no. So I contacted, contacted him every single, like once a week for the next, you know, two months until mm -hmm. three months until, you know. And then he's like, okay, fine. I just can't. I can't do the interview. But you know what? You did. I, you said three months. I contacted you for three mm -hmm. months, and the day has arrived. So yep. what are you saying now? You know. So it didn't really work out, but yeah, it, it's a lot. Yeah. Because yeah, I sold insurance for fifteen years, mm -hmm. and you'd get that blow off where they just says, "Say no, I'm not interested." Mm -hmm. because, I mean, then we attack them on that anyway. Yeah. Oh, sorry, negotiate. <laughs> but like you phone them, like you put it in the diary, yeah. and phone them back, mm -hmm. and they're like, uh, oh. <laughs> and then it's you again. It's you again. It's you again. <laughs> so you, you do get that. But um, most people that I've come across are super happy to do mm -hmm. the interviews. They are they're pleasant people to talk to. Um, yeah. So, Melissa, it's quite tough that. Yeah. So who would who is this job for? Who is this profession for? Mm -hmm. And who's it not for? You have to be very, should I say resilient? Mm. You have to be um, consistent. Uh, if you're not a consistent person, and I remember I had a colleague of mine who had to produce his own show. He's like, I can't do this. I can't beg people. I can't, I don't want like beg. I'm like, it's not yeah. a matter of begging the person. It's just a matter of asking the person and just mm. being consistent. And if they say no today, you can always, they can always say, you know, you can always ask them if they can do it a different yeah. day. So you have to be very consistent and resilient and be a good communicator because especially if the person is like overseas, like mm. in America, you must remember that we also have time differences. Yeah. So for instance, when I was producing the morning show, I couldn't get people from America because they were, you, exactly, yeah. because they were sleeping. So you have to be and you always make sure that you communicate thoroughly. If even if it's the, I know sometimes uh, you you might feel like this this information is useless, but mm. communicate it. Make sure that that person has received it. And yeah. if if they can't, if maybe in in there's a you, you guys can't understand each other through text, call. Call the person, mm -hmm. you know, talk to this person. You must not be afraid to talk to people. It, it's so true. People like to hide behind WhatsApp mm -hmm. and text mm -hmm. where you can literally get something done in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's five hours worth of, yeah. of messaging. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Just call the person. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you've called. Make sure that you – and you follow through. For having yeah. to follow through is very important because then if you don't follow through, then the person – because you must remember, you want something from that person. They don't want anything mm -hmm. from you. So, so on there, like, yeah. no one gets paid to come on radio. No, nobody gets As paid. A guest. No, nobody no. gets. Because it's also, it has to be, um, because sometimes, and then I guess that's why sometimes you have people that are trying to punt their, their brand to say, mm. um, I'm, I'm Joseph from, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> this the specific, so they're trying to push their brand. We uh, at the specific place yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are trying yeah. to do this. So that kind of loses credibility to mm. the listener because it's like listening to a, a YouTube ad. ad. Exactly, yeah, 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 a YouTube yeah, yeah. ad. And you're like, yeah. come on, you know. So, I mean, for them it is business, but... Yeah. It's like, hey, Dave, it's great to see you. Well, yes, it's great to see you too because I'm wearing my glasses <laughs> exactly. from Bob's Optometrist. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so, yeah, yeah. I, I worked for an insurance company called Hereford, mm -hmm. the Hereford Group. And at the time, the CEO, Patrick Magna, got called on to, yeah. he got invited to SABC to talk on one of the business shows. Mm -hmm. So they were chatting to him. They asked his opinion on something. And mm -hmm. we were all standing in the studio. And he literally, without missing a beat, well... At the Hereford Group, <laughs> you know, straight at the camp. At the Hereford Group, we he, believe. Yes, by uh, your right. it's like, it's, We were on the floor. We yeah. were like, trying not to lie. Yes, lying. because, so, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I haven't so, forgotten that one. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Mm. Sometimes people try to punt, but none of the interviews mm. are paid for. Yeah. Um, unless, but, and we try not to do mm. that because sometimes in the interview loses its credibility. 100%. And you don't want that for the yeah. listener. You know, you don't want them tuning out because they're basically listening to another ad. ad. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So who, you got to be tenacious. Mm -hmm. you got to be resilient. you got to be organized. you got to be organized okay. and a good communicator. And a gr communicator. good communicator. Mm -hmm. So for those who it's not for are those lacking those skills. Pretty much. Right. It, Pretty and much. again, it's, it's not lacking skills that make you a bad person. That's mm -hmm. just not your skill set. It's, it's just like, not your thing. I, I have an amazing PA because mm -hmm. I suck at admin. 
Okay, exactly. I'm great on the radio. You know, mm -hmm. I can talk well, mm -hmm. uh, but I can't dance. <laughs> well, I think I can dance. It's okay, you story. can. So, There's a video of you. I do have yeah. a, that video. Did I send it to you? No. Okay, I'll send it to you. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. ah, okay. Yeah, Stay was. tuned, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, how was my DJ voice in the second show? I think With it was like, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're now going live to. <laughs> Is that, it's I like, where did they come from? You see, that's the thing with, with the radio. You want yeah. to be as natural as yeah. possible. You don't, that's you, great advice. Yeah, you want to be as natural. Because now you don't want to have... Uh, today you have a, a radio voice that's like... And, and I think that's why people are always trying to... I don't know, is it fake it till you make it? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. But yeah. it, it always sounds very weird. Today you're listening to some person and then... <laughs> is, is this the same person from yesterday? I'm not confused, but they do have the same name. So you have to be as natural as yeah. possible because you're trying to be as authentic to the listener as well. You're trying to get that's them it, to yeah. relate to you as a person. because, And that's why... Um, one of the biggest things in radio is, especially when you're talking to the listener, it's mm. always a you type of matter. Yes. Never you guys out there, you know. What's... Yeah, what do you say, you guys? Yeah, uh, ladies so, and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, so, so you took yeah. it to one person because these days and nowadays, people are listening to radio in their cars alone. Mm. So yes. when you're saying you guys out there, they're like, you know, they're like, Who's in the, who, who else yeah. is here? How, how do they the... know about the guy in the boot? <laughs> exactly, you know. Like, Can you turn it up? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's very important that you're always speaking to one person okay. and, you know, it helps. Yeah. And I, I think that's, so that advice that you gave me was made like, imagine you sitting and talking to someone in their living room. Mm -hmm. That's it. It, it was hugely, hugely valuable. Yeah. So another trick to that, mm -hmm. exactly, it's with, 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 uh, with new people presenters mm. you could take a picture uh, and, and i think this i got it from kathy actually mm. just take a picture of i don't know your friend and you put your okay. and then talk to your friend talk, yeah. talk to them you know and then that also translates to the listeners and, well. and, and the people hear that they yes. really hear how mm. how relaxed or connected mm -hmm. you are absolutely mm -hmm. i couldn't have pictures of any of my friends because <laughs> i'd be rude so you yeah. know it, it's in, so if you look at, at the screen here mm -hmm. where we're recording so when i do live streams mm -hmm. It comes up with comments and numbers of viewers, and okay. and I find as the viewership goes up, my anxiety goes up. Okay. So now wow. I just take the mouse off, and I get. And then you no, just have you. Blank yeah. And it's just me. It, it helps. And, and yeah. that's much easier. So, but I'm working towards that where I can keep it as if I'm talking to one person. That's what I've got in my yeah. head. There's only you you're talking to more people. You start to panic. Mm -hmm. Are you telling them the right that's stuff or enough? Mm -hmm. Does this one need to hear this? Does this mm -hmm. one? So that's where it's just coming to talking to one, one person, person, which exactly. is great. Yeah. So what are the career paths, the career options in production? By the mm -hmm. way, I just want to mention one thing. How mm -hmm. nice is it having a clip-on mic? Well, you don't have to sit well, yeah, on the mic the whole time. It is amazing because then you don't have to. Yeah. Also, no then, offense, Craig, yes, we love you. But yeah. I think it's also uh, less intimidating. Yes. Um, and I think that's why for me, over the years, I'm like, I get very, very nervous when they're like, um, so Sana, what do you think? I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I think? I don't know what I think because <laughs> yeah. it's not because I don't know what I think. It's because of the mic becomes intimidating. Yeah. So this doesn't necessarily... Like, you forget about it. Yeah, that's You it. forget it's about sorry it. Sorry for reminding me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you forget about it. But one mic and it's sitting there, you're just yeah. like, okay, fine, I need to say the right thing at the right, right. time. What if I say the right thing? Am I close thing? enough? Is, am, am I close yeah, enough? Yeah, yeah. Am I, yeah, yeah. is it, you know, because uh, apparently the, you have to put apparently a fist away. Yeah, yeah, for, the, for, for the, that DJ voice. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I think, yeah, this kind of helps you to forget completely. To forget about it. To Absolutely. forget about it, yeah. So it doesn't become... Um, stressful. 100%. Uh, yeah. you, and you see the fun part with these conversations, like I'll mention a point, think of something and go completely off the point. Yes. So back to the ask. point. <laughs> you uh, did that's, ask, actually. Yeah. No, that, uh, that's all me, that's not you. No, that's <laughs> fine. I mean, there are a lot of career choice, I mean, career paths in radio. I mean, mm. if you, um, if you're either like a news reader, I think that's also something that I think a lot of universities, colleges should actually address. Yes. You have... So campus radio was... I don't know how big it is now, yeah. but it was a big thing. Yeah, campus radio is, st is still a thing, but I feel like with most... Um, I struggle to get news readers. Can I just move your hair away from the mic? Oh, yeah, just sure. in case. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, so... Yeah. Um, so I find... You find that you have news readers that obviously studied 
to write, to mm. study to write news, but they can't. Because that's also, yeah. sorry, the news reader yeah. makes the news. That's true. They're not just like, yeah. read that. So yeah. you're, like they're going and researching the articles, putting that what to say, exactly. thought of the day. This exactly. That you have to okay. write your own news bulletin yes. and then record it the, or, or read and read it out. But now you have people that can read but cannot compose or write a news bulletin. Right. So I don't know if is it a univer is it a university thing or is it college problem or people just I don't know forget how to write or people don't know how to write or people are not trained. I just I, I, find I it think very writing has fallen by the wayside mm. big time because I think also with technology with autocorrect mm -hmm. with word uh, document true, you know true. all with, of those you with don't AI, yeah, yeah. with AI now even more so yeah. where if I go back to remember my grandfather's days mm -hmm. he would be handwriting you know handwriting let you went to someone for dinner mm -hmm. you'd send them a handwritten letter yeah and writing's a skill and it's it practical is. and it can it is. stand you in such good stead it is. in everything mm -hmm. it is so, so that's yeah. what I'm saying mm -hmm. it's it's there are so many opportunities because not only, as, even if you're a content producer, you can then go up, uh, go out and still be like a social media yes. uh, coordinator because you need the writing skills. You mm -hmm. need to, you know, you need to write grammatically correct. Yes, you need to, grammarly. Exactly. Because this is not a sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. you know, you know and, you, and you, have, you still have, and I was talking to my cousins in December where they write, how you're doing is HUD. Yeah. I'm like, uh-uh. No. Yeah. no, 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 right in full sentence. How are you doing? Not H U D or no, W D. We're not, we're not living in an SMS world no. anymore. We had 160 exactly. characters and, and for 120 rand. Mm -hmm. One rand 20. <laughs> One rand 20 cents. And then they dropped it to 60, but yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You don't want that. You don't want that. You have to write, and I think that's also, and that's why sometimes people don't even know how to spell anymore mm -hmm. because of that reason. Um, so you can, there's a lot of, um, what is it? There's a lot of careers within, within radio. Okay. Because even if, as, that's what I'm saying, as a news reader, you need mm. to know how to write and spell yes. and then also articulate properly mm. and, and all of that. And, but and I manage think, that flow. That and was manage your, that like flow. Like that's what Mike yeah. was, I mean, you just go, the yeah. flow, the flow. It's manage the flow, thing. exactly. Mm. Um, and then if you think you can even, you know, present, absolutely present. Um, mm. And produce. And produce, and produce. So producing, news writing, mm. uh, social media, which is a very big thing. Um, and yeah, presenting, news reading, mm. there's, there's so much. And there's even like behind the scenes because you also yes. have the sound, mm. the sound engineers in the background. They are the ones that put up the podcast, mm -hmm. edit them and then put them up yes. and, and all of that. And then there's like, you know, your, there's your PTG that works on the website. So there's like, it mm. really is like super big. You know? What is it, PTG? No, there is a PTG. PTG is, is the guy that uh, manages oh. our website. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said PTG. No, PTG. Okay, yeah, PTG. Okay, 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 okay so that's none of that my years. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So that's, yeah. So there's a, there's a lot. There really is a lot. And I think what's very, very cool mm -hmm. about producing skills, radio skills, um, ra whether it's announcing or news reading, or, mm -hmm. these are skills that are transferable worldwide. True. So if you're young, mm -hmm. or even not, not so young, like, <laughs> not so like young, me, okay. and you're wanting to travel, you mm -hmm. may get a job at Bangkok Radio true. XYZ true. for true. six months, mm -hmm. and then you go to there. That's true. That's a wonderful way to sort of see the world. That's true. And earn an income and have a set schedule. True. Um, so one person that I think would be a very big example of that. I don't know if you know her, Kate Turkington. Yeah. She, she's worked for, I think, BBC. She, she's 8,800. Eight. <laughs> no, it is something Ms. close Kurt, to that. I apologize, Kate. My, my so, sincere apology. Yeah, so she's yes. like, I think she's like one of the most exceptional presenters. Yes. You know, I think she said she's worked for BBC. I've had the pleasure to meet mm. her and work with her as well. So she's really like, amazing and she's like she'll tell you like everything she's very very sure. wise as well okay. so she'll tell you like everything that i have to get to. her on the show i think That's she the first guest you. you can book okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. i think she would and she would really be you know she'd mm. be very happy to come i think okay. she's a, an amazing lady so, sure yeah. yeah okay fantastic yeah so you should contact her we get in touch yeah. me no, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to introduce you to my skill set, outsourcing. Take yeah. what you're good at, 
and multiply. And, and, Take and what multi- you're not good at and, and then outsource it. And outsource, yeah. yeah that's so and even if you're good at it. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. You, how does someone go about getting into the career? Into the Let, career. Let's say yeah. two things. You've got a high school kid and then you've got a varsity kid. Um, I think when I started, so I started, mm-hmm. I remember in high school, they said we must drop shadow. Because, mm-hmm. And then obviously because... I, honestly speaking, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I, I went you to the bench. I still don't. I, I still so, don't. C- can I share something with you? Yeah. Or not? Uh, I'm 52. Okay. I have no idea what I want to do with my life. I know okay. what I don't want to do. Okay. But that's not a bad thing. That mm-hmm. is, like, I look at my friends, I have some of them who studied accountancy at school mm-hmm. and did, they got amazing careers as accountants mm-hmm. or doctors or mm-hmm. lawyers or. I, did, I mean, I studied first year civil engineering, then I went to electrical cur- light current, mm-hmm. all of these different things. What's so cool is we can do anything. Mm-hmm. So one thing evolves. So like with the gym, mm-hmm. evolved into live stream, uh, live streaming because we had to mm-hmm. with COVID. We mm-hmm. had to live stream to clients. We had to find clients worldwide. All of that equipment meant we could live stream powerlifting competitions ah, and sports events. Yeah. That meant we could then go and do something else. Mm-hmm. That meant, so we can evolve. And I, you have, right? Mm-hmm. True, You've gone true, from true, true. So, so, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so, you, sorry, back you, to the, it, it doesn't matter that you don't know what you want to do. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I also feel like then you see, then mm-hmm. there's, there's the whole thing where you see everybody doing other things and you're like, maybe I should try that. Maybe I should try yeah, that. Maybe I should for try sure. that. And, and why then, not? And why not? Exactly. And why not? So, but mm-hmm. you feel that, I don't know, it feels that, I don't know, you don't have a sense of direction. So if, you, so if yeah. you look at it as becoming the best version of who you are, mm-hmm. right? So let's say, for example, a doctor is a general practitioner, mm-hmm. but he sees a need in his market. So he goes and studies aesthetics so he can do Botox True. and all of these things. So if you look at it like if you're enhancing, and so like mm-hmm. let's say, for example, you are a radio presenter, but then you become a chef and then oh. you become a motor mechanic. And then you become a, if you, but, but somehow you realize that actually what I can do is, you know, I'm, I'm going to run a podcast mm-hmm. about my restaurant at my garage that ah, does this so and, that, does that. and then you can put, then put it together. I think and that for, then becomes, so it's not a straight line life. Yeah. It's always that left and right. Ah, curve and I guess if you put it that way, it, it sort of does because mm-hmm. what, what happens is that you you basically are looking out for the needs that yes, are in, in different in different industries and then you can actually fill in from there. that. So yeah, yeah, I think that Bru- yeah, that, that mm. does make a lot of sense. Yeah. Bruce Lee said it very well about mm. martial arts. He mm. said absorb what is useful, mm-hmm. reject what is useless, and add what is uniquely your own. Ah, amazing. So that's like add amazing. what is you hey, I like that, I'll try it. I like mm. that I'll try. How do I bring it in? Mm-hmm. Like my insurance helped me sell security systems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My work, so I went from working at Tedlex mm-hmm. to selling insurance to working for Barron Security. Okay. I think we did about 2,000 alarm installations for them in about four or five months. It was wow. insane. Wow. So my technical from Tedlex mm-hmm. helped me with the do the installations. Okay. And the sales training that I got from Barron mm-hmm. selling alarm systems Help me in insurance, okay. and the insurance now help me talk to people, because it, it what what insurance gives you is the mm-hmm. gift of unpacking, mm-hmm. so feeling, finding questions. Why do you say that? How does that make you feel? What mm-hmm. would happen if you don't? Yeah. What would happen if you do? Uh-huh. Are, are those the consequences you've considered? Okay. So that helps with an interview skill. True. So all of the, you know, wow, <laughs> look at so, that. Huh? Yeah. So like high school mm-hmm. to. Um, working as a radio and TV technician, mm-hmm. building the big screen at Ellis Park when I worked for Tedlex, okay. meeting the Rolling Stones, is very cool. <laughs> okay. um, I stood this close to Mick Jagger and I was like, at the Carlton Hotel yeah. at the after party. I was like, I, 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 <laughs> you don't know what to say. I'm so the worst. embarrassed. I really do need to go up to one. Another. I apologize. He's like, are you that idiot from South Africa? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, Mr. Jagger again, I do apologize. Sir. Um, yeah. So the... Um, you know, all of that. And then that went into this, which mm-hmm. goes into this. So now, think about this, right? I I was in insurance mm-hmm. 15 years, and then I moved into management, recruiting and sharing the skills and teaching young guys how to sell insurance. Mm-hmm. Left insurance, opened the gym. The teaching skills I learned teaching insurance mm-hmm. products, 
is that I could apply to training my clients. True. Training yeah. my clients led to the academy mm -hmm. where we train and develop young coaches from disadvantaged communities. Amazing. And that helped me train the coaches. Wow, everything just exact, evolved into, into something else. And, and you, if you sit down and you think about it, mm -hmm. That's what we do naturally anyway. Sure, we okay. take our skill set that we've acquired mm -hmm. and we apply it where it's needed. That's true. Huh? That's true. Wow. I actually never thought of it that way. That's why I'm, I'm always panicking. I'm like, maybe I should just be a millionaire. How do I get to being a millionaire? Yeah. Maybe I should just call Elon Musk. Hey, you must, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I think, so for me, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I didn't know what I wanted to do then. Mm. I'm not sure if I, I know what I want to do now, but... Mm. I'm going to work towards something regardless, and then I'll figure it out. Yeah. So when I started, so I went to, I remember I went to Sandringham Vet. Yes. And then, yeah, I decided that I'm not going to be a vet because then I remember there was, there was a cat that had diabetes and then it was blind and then didn't have a mm. leg. And I'm like, nope, no, that's very sad for me. Um, I can't do that. I, no, mm -hmm. that's too sad. So that didn't work out. And then, what did I go? Oh, yes, and then I went to MediResponse. And then... So what skills did you learn at the vet that you're using now? Um, I just get, got scared off. I, said, I don't think I learned anything. <laughs> I don't okay. think, I don't want to... But well, how about you learned yeah. what you're willing to tolerate for a career and what you're not it's, That's willing true, to actually. What is it that I want, I don't want? Yeah. I learned what is it that I don't want. As and important what is it, as knowing, if not yes, more important than knowing what you yes, want. Yes, I think that's, that's the one thing. Mm. I learned what I don't want. Um, and then when I went to Medi Response, what, so... The experience was nice because even the people there were very nice, right? Yes. But it's also something that I learned that I don't think I necessarily want to go into where people are getting hurt because my what 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 put my mind to it is so you only respond or you only work mm. when someone is getting hurt. That didn't pass well with me. That that really didn't pass well with me. So and you're I was more like, about prevention than cure. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, but no. you're, you're proactive. Yeah. You're pro it, you, you're not waiting until four o'clock to phone the no. four o five guest <laughs> no, you can't to do confirm. That. No, you can't. So that's do it. That. You're not waiting yes. until they hurt. Until, you don't want to deal with the crisis management. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Rather deal with it now. Yes. That way. I know what's coming and I, I can prevent anything. So that, that, that is one thing. And then I also learned that, no, I don't think I want to do that. So maybe the medical side is not my thing. Um, and that's when um, then I was like, okay, fine. Maybe I can be a pilot and then, yeah, mm. that was, is still currently paused. And then I shadowed at Chai FM. Mm. And then um, it's, I had the most amazing time of my life, really. I was just like, you know, I, you were, I was, you're always I was, being a bundle of energy there. Yeah, and then I just, I just, you know, I would sit with Vusi, and then Vusi mm. would, and then I'll talk to Vusi, and then I'll move to Lindy where she did the news, and then from Lind, then I'll speak to Kathy, and I'll just speak to mm. everyone really, whoever was there, and I'll speak to them because I'm, I was interested in what what all of them are doing and how everything is put together, and you know, and how everything just runs. So I guess then I liked that, and I was like, I could work with this, mm. I could work with this, and then, but then that didn't. So that was just volunteering, and then right. obviously it was December, and then I went home and came back. And then I was working and schooling at the same time. And then Kathy made me at, so I was working um, I was working at, so sushi. <laughs> yeah, so okay. before so sushi closed, so they had like hang a sushi on, valve on, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing what at so sushi? I was a, I was a, I was a waiter there. Okay, well, did you ever make sushi? Um, I tried, it didn't work out. Okay, okay, <laughs> I don't, it just fell yeah. out. I don't yeah, know yeah. why was it falling out. And, and the chefs used to do it so brilliantly. They just, yeah. And then they put it. And yeah, I think yeah. that's also something that... So sushi was good, man. It was. It was I so liked the good. sushi belt. I yeah. liked the, um, you know, the different colors. And it's also just mm. talking to the people. And I think yeah. that's the one thing I love about my job and I think that's my biggest skill mm -hmm. talking to people yes uh, communicating is talking really, to people and making them feel that they are the single most important exactly person exactly to. and having yeah. to you know and sometimes people would say that maybe it's because you're too nice I don't mind being too nice I like being too nice mm -hmm. because you know it, it makes the next person feel good and I feel good about the fact that they feel good and you know what Maybe that's what we need in the world. 100%. Everybody to be there's nice no such, to one another. There's no such thing as too nice. There's no such thing as being too nice. Mm. And I think, so that's what I'm saying. I like, and I, 
the, here's the thing. Most of the people that I was um, awaited to, I actually got to meet them at Chai FM as well. So okay, in most cases, it was like super amazing because I remember there was a lady by the name of Liat. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you know her. She worked at the Israel Center. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think now she, she went. I think she was there temporarily. I think now she's in Israel. Um, and I used to meet her and her family. And then it just happened that when I used to win a win, I would bump into her and I'm like, oh, I know you. He's like, yes, I know you. And I'm like, yeah, I know you. from. And then it was really just, just amazing. The people that I used to, you know, so it, was, cool. it was, I think, if it's the one thing that I learned from mm-hmm. being a waiter is the importance of communication. Yeah. So, because uh, it's it, very, very important. <laughs> so, yeah. dealing with Jewish people and food. And oh my, and then they're like, no, you must Mediterranean <laughs> people oh and food. God. They'll be like, remove. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. want the ever, but can you add a little bit of the of the of the rice? But also, just not a bit of the rice. And then you yeah. like, and you end up there thinking to yourself, okay, this is half of rice, but not too much of the <laughs> ever. But maybe the ever. So, I want a hand seed. roll, yeah. but I don't want that seaweed yes. paper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I want rice, but not too much of rice. Yep. Okay, so you I'm also learn. I'm on a learn... diet, but give me some more rice on my side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly that. So I think I also just, you know, communication was, was I think, something that I was just like, I think I could do this. Mm. And um, I think when I started off as being a producer, communication wasn't the biggest factor. But yes. And now that I'm training people as well, communication is actually a thing because you get people that are like, I have to speak to this person. I'm like, yes, you do. Mm. Like, can I not just send them a text? I'm like, (laughs) well, no, you want to, you know. Also, it's also very important to hear if that person can communicate because sometimes I speak to people in Israel and they can't speak English and they're like, oh, maybe they're not confident with their English. Mm. And then they'd be like, and then, you know, how are you going to communicate? Because now they're going to speak Hebrew and I don't have the Hebrew translator. So... What's going to happen now? You know, <laughs> so you need to be able to talk to that person. Yeah. Hear, you know, hear what they're saying. Are they comfortable talking to you? And so you were saying, like some of the guys are one-word answers. Yes. And yes. how are things going today? In- good. Good. <laughs> Uh, okay, thanks for coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for you today. And, you um, know, and by the time you still have like five, you know, five minutes. more minutes to yeah. actually fill, now you're thinking, okay, I'm going to play a song, but what if the song ends early? I think there's someone by the... And that's when the, the door oh. goes. Yep. Oh. Oh, hey, Cap. Okay. okay easy. There we are. I didn't even know Cap was in here. That's cool. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we are recording now live from the gym, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going live. We've got to do a live one. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's pretty much, yeah, mm-hmm. what's, what's, so mm-hmm. I moved from then. Um, yeah, it was mm-hmm. a basically job shadowing. Mean, that's, I'm like, I'm always very pro job shadowing because you know what, you will yes. know what you like and what you don't like, yeah. you know. And then from there, then you can just carry it and then, yeah, and then I worked high FM and then, yeah. So Back here, in, yeah. So to chat about the job shadowing thing, which I think is vital, mm-hmm. I, I do think, like, how is this for a crazy idea? Mm-hmm. There is no employment problem in South Africa. Mm-hmm. There is only a payment problem. So what I mean by that is if every if people came to you and said, can I work at the radio station for mm-hmm. a year for free to learn? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, so, you'd find something for definitely, them to do. Definitely, definitely. But if they come and say, yeah, but what are you going to pay me? Which we understand. People sure. have to eat. They sure. have to. But rather than sitting at home, mm-hmm. not lo- sending out CVs, acquire take some skill. time, acquire some skills. Mm-hmm. Take your time. I think it's also... Mm. I don't know. Sometimes I do feel like some people have a self entitlement issue. Mm. They just want to take and take and take and take and take, but never want to give. And sometimes that's a problem. Also, um, I think there could also be anxiety. I think you so. Know, it's like when you don't have, mm-hmm. you just want to grab, grab. So I've spoken to some people. It's almost like, and it so this can be a touchy subject, mm-hmm. but. It's a slave mentality, mm. meaning that you don't know when it's come next. Okay. Right? So you have a slave mentality, you have mm. abundance mentality. Mm-hmm. If you know every week you're going to find a way to put food on the table, mm-hmm. fine. If as a, you don't know mm-hmm. what you're going to get for the rest of the year, you take now. You take as much as you, you can. can now, and you don't even think about. If I give, I'll get more tomorrow. True. I think maybe that's also and another thing. But then you also have the issue of 
Um, and it's something that I actually realized that this mm. week um, uh, when I went with Kathy to some, I think it's some place, I don't know what, it's like a mm. tech hub. Mm. And sometimes we do not see, or we fail to see the opportunities that lie literally in front, in of, front us. of us. Yeah. Um, so I went to, when we went to this place, so the, the, you know, I don't know if you've been to your Gussie's, like your Alex, your Tembisa, mm-hmm. your, so... When, Everton, yeah, Everton, Tembisa, yeah, like the the true of, of South Africa, yeah, yeah the true. Dude, I've done self defence workshops, <laughs> amazing, everywhere. Okay. Listen, Richmond, mm-hmm. in Natal, yeah, up there at the townships, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. So yeah, so but the then there's so many like, opportunities. <laughs> like okay, who's Mulungu? This guy, Mulungu is in the yeah. township. Mm. Yeah, no, and then all the yeah. girls come. Hey, do you have a wife? <laughs> <laughs> and then they ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know, we know. Yeah. Okay, right. So, yes. if, if you, you know, if, if one has been there, there is so many opportunities. I'm always saying mm. that you can never, ever go hungry when you're in the gassy. A tan yeah. rand will buy you pup and mm-hmm. meat and mm-hmm. you will be fine for that for tonight. Yes. You know? So, it was a thing whereby they had all these, like, different innovations. Like, um, so, in, in the township, there is, you know how you have Uber Eats? Yeah. They have like a bicycle that can, yeah. you know, they get like a bicycle that can move from A to B. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, those are the opportunities that, those are the innovations rather that, you know, that one could, you know, you should, we should have mm-hmm. more innovators rather than um, people that. The, the single most important thing that mm-hmm. we need is the encouragement and the development yeah. of the entrepreneurial mindset from understanding of how to be an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. how to run, because it is like True. nothing in this world beats a township fix. True. Right? Sure. Got to get your car to work, got to get it fixed, you've mm-hmm. got someone that can mm-hmm. help you. There, is. there was a young man that I spoke to as a barista at a coffee shop about 10, 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. And he was saying that he had a business because he had noticed how expensive nappies were mm-hmm. at the spaza shops in Hillbrow, mm-hmm. in Berea. Those, it, like, there's maybe 20 rand for a nappy when it should be three. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to have people come to his flat to buy nappies. Mm-hmm. So I said to him, okay, there's two issues there. One, there's a, you don't want to be carrying cash. Mm-hmm. And two, save the mom time. Why don't you have a WhatsApp number mm-hmm. and deliver a nappy? Yeah. So it costs you two rand, you sell it for 10 rand. And it's, so he, he, he left. I don't know if he started it, but mm-hmm. I, I have contacted it, but he was going to be the Uber poop. <laughs> <of> the, <laughs> Yeah, then you'll be eating some nappies. Yeah. And like, you'll be yeah. Eating, but like you get one big block, you get 10 blocks of flats in your mm-hmm. area. Okay, cool. I'll be there in 30 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes. You're running. You, just you give, do give, a deal with the landlords yeah. and, and then you deliver your you nappies. You deliver your own nappies. So that's, yeah. Right. So I think mm-hmm. it's also failure to see the business mm-hmm. opportunities yes. within the areas that we live in. And, and that becomes. Is a that problem. also because, how's this for a tough question? Mm-hmm. The youth have been sold a lie about what to expect expectations so, that's true i want to be a also, middle manager i want my bm yeah. i want my house in mm-hmm. brines and i want my dinner but also not start at the bottom but also it's because when you i think from mm. being a, a, a black black girl child you are told go to school so they can get a job yes. so your mentality is not business it is go mm. get a job yeah. so now I'm always saying there's only so many people you can hire and actually pay, yeah. you know. So now if you have this group of people, this bunch of uh, graduates mm-hmm. that are all looking to go find a job because mm-hmm. no, but, and nobody has told them that actually you can actually have your degree and actually have a, have a, have a, have a, have a, you know, a business. So that, so that's, main, yeah. that's a big problem. Instead of go and get a job, go and make a job. Go make a job. Go and create jobs. That's true. That's if everybody true. had, I'm mm-hmm. going to create five jobs mindset within three years. But I also think it's also the schooling system, you know. Mm-hmm. The, the, I also, I mean, I think about it now. I'm like, it just still today doesn't really make sense to me. How is 30% a pass rate? How well, is 30%? You, you, and not listen, only that, you don't do also Do you teach. really want mm-hmm. an educated, empowered middle class? Mm, no. Huh? That's true. That's, That's true. Mm-hmm. And it's a difficult one. And mm-hmm. it, these are not really the, the kind of topics that I wanted to, you know, <laughs> true, to touch but on. Have to but, but it's true. Like, yeah. do, you know, if you keep people mm-hmm. at a certain level of self-belief, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of self-worth, of self-value, look at the role models yeah. as well. And the reality is if I can't drive a 7 Series, if I can't live here, I'm worth nothing. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. doesn't matter that I'm working as a yeah. waiter mm -hmm. and a packer yeah. and this to help my parents put food on the table, yeah. which is the most incredible thing. thing. Yeah. Or I don't have parents and mm -hmm. I'm looking after my siblings, you know, mm -hmm. which, which is the most incredible, honorable thing to sure. do. Teachers, Te you know, nurses. nurses. That's True, yeah. yeah. So, and, and that's what I'm saying. I also so think maybe it, yeah. if we also started from teaching entrepreneurship mm -hmm. within 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 high school, as soon as you like, from either, I don't know, should I say primary or high school? But yeah. I feel like it's, it would be most impactful within uh, within high schools. Yes. We, you know, if you teach those entrepreneurial it's skills. In nursery school. Yeah. Let them, do, do you yeah. know, like, you, you yeah. know, King David, the schools, they have, uh, what's it, that work day where you got to make a product, oh, bring yes. a product, yes. sell it, mm -hmm. trade it. Yeah. Like these, you know. It's Those like, things, they kind of help. So I think that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the problem that we have in South Africa. Also, the idea of the government must provide jobs. Yes. The government must provide jobs. They can only hire and, and hire as many people as possible. What happened to, you must, mm -hmm. maybe you must create a job. That, no, well, that's it. Yeah. We need that shift. Mm -hmm. And this is the cool thing, the beautiful thing about podcast. Yeah. How's this for a segue back <laughs> to, to where we are? True. Like for what you're doing, mm -hmm. right? So the more we can get people involved in making and creating podcasts, mm -hmm. the more you can get the message of entrepreneurship out there, mm -hmm. the more people can start to go, okay, hang on, maybe I don't, maybe I can. But here's it's the thing, even with podcasts, we mm -hmm. have so many young people creating podcasts. Mm -hmm. Consistency is the problem. Con well, yes. And also, um, you have 20 um, YouTube people all talking about the same thing, which is yes. life, my lifestyle, um, mm -hmm. where I'm traveling next. I mean, yep. I can only follow so many people talking about their personal lives. What about the, the, the topics that matter? Yes. You know, career choices. I was thinking about it and I'm, uh, you know, a couple, I don't know why I actually haven't really mm -hmm. implemented it, but I was thinking about um, the whole concept of, because a lot of, and I do believe that most students don't even know what they want to do after school, yes? Yeah. And even when I was in, in grade and 11. And that's not a problem. That's not a problem. But even when I was in grade mm -hmm. 11, I think a lot of kids, didn't do the job shadowing. I mean, in my class, I think five of us went to job really? shadowing. Yeah, we were given three days. Less than 10 people actually went, went to go sure. and job shadow. So I don't know if, is it a problem? What What's the problem? I honestly cannot identify what the problem is. But I feel that if, so there was a show that I did mm. with the high kids, right? Mm. And I was thinking, if I can book the guests to go, so to come into studio, why mm. can't we bring those guests into the schools? Yes. And that eventually could actually be something whereby you can get your, your uh, I don't know, pen, is it pen and pens, your taffies mm, 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 to sponsor mm, mm. that. Yes. And, you know, now you actually have, and so because what happens is that even at the end of, for, for matriculants or like for grade 11s, you have all these different schools mm. uh, that come and say, come to us, come to us, but come to you to do what? That's one. Um, if I'm coming to you, I, you mm. know, why can't we get your doctors, your nurses, your police officers, your, or, you know, your aviation schools yeah. and your, your pilot, not just the aviation school necessarily, but the pilots to come and say, listen, let's, let me be realistic with you. This is how much it is. This is how much you're going to pay before you even mm. can let some, you can actually yeah. fly someone for money, you know, have those carriers of those people with those specific careers come mm. into the schools and actually talk to these kids. Mm. And then from there, they can say, okay, maybe I like, I can be that or I can or, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because strip it way back, make it easier. Yeah. Set up, an, set up a podcast mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Or set where up a you podcast. bring on a guest. Mm -hmm. So like what I'm doing with this, mm -hmm. my, the whole idea behind so it's Coffee and Conversations with Champions, yes. and we have different editions. Okay. So this is the leadership edition, because oh. you're a leader in what you do. Mm. We have Thank the you. table tent. No, I'm yeah. We have table tent. So then we have the sports, mm -hmm. powerlifting, paddle, table tennis, swimming, oh, all of amazing. those different kinds of sports, yeah. so that people know how to segment it. But the idea of the content is behind. Mm -hmm. How did you develop self-belief? How do you maintain self-belief? Mm -hmm. How do you fight for yourself? Every day. These are the things. Mm -hmm. How do you believe you have self-worth? I think the challenge that the youth face mm -hmm. is there's no role model and there's no belief in hope or there, that there is a way out. I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. here's the thing. 
obviously you're told that, and I think that's why. Sorry, no appropriate role model. Let me say that again. M yeah, maybe the, yes. That that because I agree maybe with. the janitor working at the school for forty years, mm -hmm. whose kid is now a doctor, that is is a yeah, role model. That's true. Yeah. I had, um, I think maybe, and I do th sometimes I do thank God that I was mm. able to, to some extent, I was able to to live within the Jewish community. Mm. And I could say, and I could say, I want to do this, and I want to do that. Like I had like clear role models. Mm -hmm. So I lived with Dr. Wayner. So my mm -hmm. mom was my mom was a domestic worker, okay. and Dr. Wayner was obviously a doctor. Mm -hmm. And then um, Susan is a teacher at King mm -hmm. David, right? So and then I had him as my mentor, literally on my. I look at it now, and I'm like, on your case, <laughs> on my case, the Betty. Have you have you applied, the Betty? Yeah. Have you written to the BBC, the yeah. Betty? Why you know? And yep. I had him and. I have to do it because there is literally someone pushing me and mm. I think sometimes that's what we need as the youth you need you know you need a person that cares enough to want the best for mm. you um, and like if a person from let's say from Bukasi like parents don't even, parents are tired a par you know a mom yeah. comes back for, yeah. at, at seven dad comes back at six everybody's tired sometimes I don't even do the homework and mm. and if you don't do homework it also starts from there who do you have as your as your role model as and a person an accountability that's buddy a, an accountability buddy person mm. you know so I think for me I had that and I, I thank God that I had mm. that mm. not everybody has has that or was able to do that and even after that mm. you know um like someone like kathy she's you know she's, 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 she is one of my role models because i can say i look at the way she could i promise you kathy could sell you anything mm -hmm. and i would i would buy it because she like she is so great at that and i'm mm. like if i could do that if i can do that and she is so passionate and if i can you know i i literally have i'm always saying i have the greatest people around me and yes. I will take, you know, if I, I'll take all the characteristics from the, the great characteristics from all of them, all of them. That's and, and put it together. what is useful, exactly. reject what is not, and Absolutely. what is useful. And that's, own. you know, that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah, it's amazing. It's, sure. a re it's really amazing to have that. And it's just, I'm saying, it's quite sad that if you're living in the guts, you don't always have those opportunities. So here's a, a thing, and I, I spoke about this on my, my personal podcast. Yeah. I've been speaking about a little, the, this, I've made a commitment to put out a, a, a video every day, mm -hmm. except Saturday for the for 2020 show. Yeah. And I might, I might stick to that. <laughs> okay, uh, that's good. I, I that's said good. for a year and we'll see. Okay. So the, the thing is that it's very important that you surround yourself with people who are adults. Not old people, people who are adults, people yes. who behave about, that mm. care about you, that you, value you, that if you don't want to do something mm. that they want you to do, don't make you feel guilty mm -hmm. about not doing it. Mm -hmm. So, May, that's the thing. It's like, how do people in the townships, how do people in the Kasi find role models? Find role the, models. The truth is, look for someone that you would want your child to marry. Sure. You know? Like, so it's not about the money, it's not about the flash, mm -hmm. it's about the honor, it's about the integrity. It's so, look for someone who's happy, genuinely within themselves. Maybe it's the old lady who's uh, the Shizunyama. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the, what, find that. If you don't have that at home, look for it and start to build that relationship. It's like, we're, mm -hmm. it's life shadowing. True, true. But mm -hmm. here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. How do you tell a 16 year old? Mm -hmm. To look for happiness when he's looking for money, because mm. like, but because because here's the thing, mm. what defines success? Yes, to different people, I guess mm -hmm. it's it's obviously different. But um, so I think the first level of success is not being hungry, mm -hmm. having a roof over your head, mm -hmm. and being able to support your family. But it's easy to appreciate those things. I think it's mm. sometimes we, we I feel like maybe we're not appreciative enough. Yeah, well, and maybe gratitude. Yeah, yeah, we don't have that, and then so. We don't, I would be like, we don't understand its value. We don't understand its value. And that's yeah. why I remember when one of my teachers asked me, actually she asked me, I actually have to come get back to her. I have to. <laughs> she asked me if I could come to come and talk mm -hmm. at, at the school. Awesome. And yes, it's amazing. And she said to me, I must get also like uh, former matriculants at Waverly, mm -hmm. like, eight other, like eight more. 
And every time I call each one of them, the first question is, what am I going to say? I, I don't think I'm at a place to talk. I'm like, what do you mean? And I guess that's where mm. the definition of, achieve, of, of achievement of success also comes from. You know, one is like, I probably yeah. I haven't, I, haven't, I don't even have, I have to Uber there. I don't even have a Mercedes Benz to like, what am I motivating yeah. on top of? Yeah, but so, it's the little things. So what people are saying is, okay, so that's, my view of success mm -hmm. is A, B, C, D. Yes. I don't have that. Mm -hmm. How can I speak about success? Exactly. But in most when cases, reality all of is, them is the same. You're not lying on the pavement. Mm -hmm. You're not dead. I always tell people, every day above ground is a good day. Mm -hmm. You know, For me, having sat on my couch with my gun in my mouth, mm -hmm. asking God to give me the courage to kill myself, mm -hmm. that, that's my low point. It happened more that's than hectic, once. Yeah. But that is my greatest gift because anything above that is success. Mm -hmm. Okay. And by the way, how many success, just talking about the Jewish community, yeah. how many successful Jewish people have you met? Well, you ask yeah, them. No, yes, but if you ask them, are you successful? So, I, I think so. My mother, not so much. Yeah. She doesn't think I'm sick. You know, my brother, he is <laughs> successful. <laughs> He, you know, yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like you know, the joke of the first Jewish, Amer the American Jewish president, yeah. the first one, and they interviewing his mother. Mm -hmm. Says your son was elected the first Jewish president of America. Yeah. She says yes, but my other son, he's a doctor. <laughs> he's a doctor. You yeah, know? mind him, but I'll yeah, tell you about it. I'll tell you this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's it. So, like, like, yeah. I think if you may, may, maybe success is developing a real level of gratitude. Mm -hmm. I think because that, yeah. then you've succeeded. you're grateful for what you have. True, you're true, grateful true, true. for where you are. And when you're grateful for what you have, suddenly that becomes a foundation. Sure. And you can build off a foundation. Mm -hmm. If you're not grateful for, and, and it's tough, like I said, you know, I've been homeless twice in my life. Hmm. So first time I lost everything i was in financial services okay and i, I, I sleep in my car oh my a friend of mine found out mm -hmm. like i was staying at my dad and then i, I couldn't stay there. gave me an apartment to stay in mm -hmm. second time after my divorce mm -hmm. wasn't keeping an eye on the business i was doing the work i wasn't invoicing oh. but six months behind on my rent oh. at home and at the gym and i did a deal with my landlord mm -hmm. that i went to go and live in my gym Sure. There was no shower, no bathroom, no toilet. That is hectic. Sure. But I did that for six, seven months, mm -hmm. eight months, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, what was so cool is I got to bath in a bucket with oh. cold water and a sure. face cloth. Okay. Do you know how powerful that was for me? Because I got to bath the same way the majority of our country so, baths. Baths, that's true. So you see, that's, I took that like, that's this true. is, the, I, you know, so if I want to go and spend twenty million thousand dollars going to live in Nepal mm. up about, I'm gonna be bathing the same way. That's true. So this is just an experience. Yeah. So it was the gratitude that I had a bucket, I had running water, I had mm. a toilet in the center I could yeah. use. And that was it. So you know these are the things. It's mm -hmm. our difficulties remind us of what we're capable of surviving. True, but also our difficulties um, mm. our difficulties it, it, it's how you view sometimes people mm. and I and I sometimes I look at it and I'm like I don't understand. Mm. While other people, you can look at your, your difficulties and say, I want to come out. But yes. Some people become so conditioned and stay in it, and which is so heartbreaking and so sad yeah. because you see, you're like, No, but that's, the the, that's yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's why we do this because it's, you are awesome and you have awesome potential and mm -hmm. you've been able to develop that potential. Mm -hmm. This is about, look at Cap, my amazing coach. Yeah. You, Cap's our head joke coach, runs the gym. And he was chatting to clients there now about, mm -hmm. you know, in the past would have run it. I'll go talk to you about, you know, payments. Yeah. And go, oh, he, he did it. He got two clients came into the gym yesterday. Yeah. They're coming to do a session today. So amazing, it's about yeah. unpacking, seeing potential and unpacking mm -hmm. it, believing in people until they believing can believe in, in exactly. themselves. True, so true, true, the true. thing is, it's about not feeling helpless and powerless. Mm -hmm. So within this, we're yeah. doing this podcast, we're putting it out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share the folder with you. Thank you. You can chop it up mm -hmm. and share it and on share your media and that. put the whole thing on. Yeah. So these are the things. It's like, okay, not relying on the government. Maybe this is it. Yeah. I'm not willing to rely on anyone to get what I want. Mm -hmm. That's it. But I'm going to yeah. do what I need to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I have to do. 
you see, to, to some extent, it's easier. I feel like it's easier said than done. Of course. Like right now, we also have the because this is an problem. attitude. This is an attitude yes. I had to develop yeah. through pain. True, 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 true. But that's what I'm saying. You mm. also have the fees must. Fall. That's why we also have the fees must fall issue, mm. which, which is you know. The government said it will pay for your fees. Now you want the government to pay for your fees. Uh, is it a staff entitlement problem? Mm. Or is it that... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So, it's, so how about oh, this? I'm not getting an education without fees. I'm wasting time. Mm-hmm. Let me go and shadow someone. Let, mm, let me go see if I can... I think that's something... I think we. I yeah. think as people, we're just wired differently. Um, we're just wired different. And that's what I'm saying. I think from... The moment I left high school, mm. I've worked. Yeah, I've always worked. Mm. I've always, I've always worked and studied at the same time. I've never, and I, I think that's also something that um, I can be very proud of myself till today to say that I've worked at different. I, like I've, I, mm-hmm. I don't know myself outside of not working and studying. Yeah. Um, and right now, I was actually thinking about it. So I'm supposed to. I applied for my honors last, cool. um, last November, mm. but then I forgot to, apply, to to pay the application fee. Now I'm stuck with the fact that I I can still apply. I don't know if I should. Am I still allowed mm-hmm. to? Or will Unisa allow me to actually pay it? Or what happens? Because, and I'm so anxious that if I don't, if I'm not studying and I'm I'm only mm-hmm. working, there's anxiety all of that because yes. I've never not studied. I've yeah. never not studied. So I'm I'm literally panicking at the moment. So okay, what am I gonna, what, what am I going to do? What am I going to what am I going to study? And it's mm. it's it's one of those things. But then someone else would say. Give me one sec. Yeah, sure. Cap, have, have you got Connie's mom? And Connie. Oh, excellent. Sorry. Thank, what do what you got them on? Oh, what? No, come and use the computer. We're nearly done. Sorry, Cap. So I didn't realize the time. Sorry. Uh, what what yeah. is the time? It's quarter past 10. Oh, I should have been 20 on. Past 10, oh, no, so. I didn't actually see that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so. Mm. I lost my okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> That's no, fine. so you're saying you're studying in your own Yeah, so I don't know my life, but then someone else would say, you know what? Um, mm. If you need to, if if Nesfis is not um, sponsoring my fees, then I'm going to sit until mm. they sponsor me. But well, you know, sometimes Nesfis doesn't sponsor. Doesn't and sponsor. five years later, you're still sitting. Yeah. You haven't Correct. done anything with your life. That is very. Or be sad. really, really annoying. And yes. Say, who's the department that runs that? You know what? I'm going to go and shadow them. Exactly. Hi. While I'm waiting, can I work here for yes. free? Can I, I shadow? Have the time. Can, I can I see? Shadow? Yeah. Can be I like, see what you do? <laughs> yeah. And, geez, get and, you know, and if people yeah. don't understand the power in actually Doing. shadowing. Yeah. Like, you know, they. I, I feel like you. People, a lot of people underestimate that, and it's the amount of knowledge and the amount oh. of skill that there you will get. There is nothing better than an apprentice True. or a shadow, mm-hmm. or a, it's mm-hmm. it's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and you know, you're learning something. You know, and, and I was I was thinking about, it and I'm like, mm-hmm. um, with some of the some of the 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 the, the, the people that were training under me, you know, during the same, mm-hmm. I'm actually proud of them. I'm actually so, like one person that stands mm-hmm. out for me. Uh, I think her name is Maxine. She, mm. she was, I think she was producing for the Overdrive. I literally trained her in a week, and she was in it. And she was, and I'm like, Is that so, the one who bullied me? No, no I don't okay. think so. Right. No, that's yeah. not the one. No, <laughs> so it's another one. And I was so proud of her because mm. I'm like, wow, I can actually, I can actually change. Like, I saw the potential in her. She saw the potential in mm, herself, mm, and therefore mm. we could actually make this. Yes. Could the world not oh. just be like this? Because South Africa cannot just be like this. See the potential in yourself. Let someone see the potential in you. So it's not about the whole South Africa. It's not about the world. It's about mm. the one person. The one person. Or the two people. people that you can affect. Mm-hmm, that's sorry. it. No problem. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, I, th- I think maybe that's that's the thing. It's You know, if I could do that mm. for the rest of my life, then I'd be very happy. Good. I'd be very happy. Yeah. So we, we've covered a lot. Yeah. There's a lot more to chat about. Sure. I think I want to, we can call it there today. Okay. Let's Just do that. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for, for having time, me. Dude. It really was an amazing conversation. Oh, it was yeah. epic. Sina, thank you. <laughs> thank um, you. How do people get you on social? Or um, do you want to Senna give that Pabati. out No, yeah. Senna Pabati on, so, on Facebook, mm. on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on, yeah. Excellent. On Snapchat. Cool. Yeah, okay. let's pull that actually. Yeah, yeah, I have to I, use I have Snapchat. To, I have to download that app. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, With Snapchat? All, oh, yeah. I don't think it's, I don't know, it's not as impactful as it yeah. was, but yeah. I guess having all social media platforms is just it's the, the thing to yeah. be. And young. you're on X. Uh, I'm on X as uh, well. Uh, yeah. I had to leave X, I got too many X's. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, was that bad? <laughs> no, that's fine. You heard that one here first. <laughs> 
Right, thank you, see you now. Oh, yeah. Uh, where, where is it? Yeah, we got it ready, okay. Anne. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All there right. you go. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, fantastic. Everybody. And uh, it was a lot of fun. We'll have you back, dude. Fab of course. Fabulous. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.